the most famous, well-known Persian restaurants in all of the United States. Welcome to Rafi's Place. We're in downtown Glendale. They have a huge outdoor patio area. They have an indoor section. It is always packed. We're gonna have a tour of the kitchen and the meat factory, and we're gonna have a feast. <laughs> it is a massive honor to meet Mr. Rafi. This is Rafi. Oh man, and very nice to meet you and Rafi's wife. It's such an honor to meet you. And I'm so, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we're at Rafi's place. We're gonna see the, the meat factory. Rafi said, Mr. Rafi said the meat factory. Let's go to the meat factory. <laughs> okay. They have delivery for Oh, oh man. Now this is what you call a kebab grill. It's like the size of a bus, man. And they are just packed here for lunch today. I mean, as they always are here at Rafi's place. The kebabs are going, the meat aroma, the kubide, the onions, the peppers, the tomatoes are hissing. Okay, 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 okay. Oh man, this place is what? What a restaurant. I think the bottom of the the rice. So we're gonna go upstairs to the prep room. Man, this place. What a system they have going down. <laughs> where they slice the meat, where they uh, skewer all of the kebabs, peppers, mountains of peppers, beautifully cut meats. It's all going to go into the kebabs, which is all going to be cooked downstairs for the restaurant. The Kubide station. <laughs> 80 pounds an hour. Wow. Just like constantly kubide all day long. The kebab factory is just so clean, so precise, so much meat doing it so well. So cool to be able to see this process upstairs, uh, the behind the scenes look at how Rafi's place operates and is run. Like one piece of meat. So it can just be skewered all flat. Look at that. Oh, wow. Boom. Seven years of practice. Yeah, and you can tell, man, you're so fast. <laughs> so fast and just, yeah, that's not easy to cut like that. This is the Disneyland of food right here. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was incredible. Yeah. Everyone knows Rafi. Would it be, be a place that a lot of Persians come to have celebrations, to to have a big meal we'll with family. A big meal with family, friends, special, yeah. occasions. special occasions. Yeah. Rafi's so place is the place. Places? Yeah. So, yeah, lots of space, exactly. Of space. They have a huge outdoor garden section, which is where we're sitting. Hello. And then they also have a big indoor section as well. Oh. The Shirazi salad. Shirazi salad, the Shirazi yes. Cucumber yeah. is kind of Persian traditional mm -hmm. salad. Speak raw. Oh, oh, no. well, yeah. Rafi's salad. This one, all of them, yes. Sure. Oh. So this is like a roasted eggplant, yeah. fried onions on top. Garlic. 
garlic. Garlic, mint. 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 Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I ate a whole board. So oh, good. Wow. It's wonderful. Mm. So creamy. I love those uh, caramelized onions on top. Okay, I'm gonna try some rapi's salad next. You guys want some rapi's salad? Sure, we'll, we'll try. Go ahead. Yeah, we can try first. Yeah, okay, I'll pass it down. Rapi salad. There's cucumbers, olives, onions, and tomatoes. Mm. Wow. Tadig is the bottom of the rice pan where it's crispy and it's one of the most prized foods. Yes. Famous uh, gourmet sabzi. Oh. oh, so that's a tadig with gourmet sabzi on top? You have to open it. Okay, okay, sure. Oh, so you have to shake it. Yes, okay. I, I think I remember. So you have to just crack it open a little bit or it will explode. Yeah, the is like a, a stew. Yeah, yeah. with oh, pomegranate, pomegranate and walnut. Walnuts. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. This one in this oh, part. thank you. Okay, this one is with the gourmet sabzi and uh, I'll top on that. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, wow. It was really good. Really good. Like sweet and mm -hmm. sour, like it was so good. And nutty. And rich. And then that texture of the tadig at the bottom, like slightly chewy and crispy at the same time. Now gourmet sabzi is like a, an herbal stew, sort of, full of herbs. It's got five different kinds of herbs, onion, kidney beans, dried lime, and Dried lime, yeah, the dried lime. Mm. Oh, I love it. So herbaceous, so so green tasting, which includes the split peas, the tomato stew. Mm. They're all three so good, and all three like completely different flavors. I'll try some of the yogurt. Yeah, it's so refreshing, creamy, not too heavy, not too rich, just a uh, sour, slightly, um, slightly sour, slightly salty, but it goes so well. Kebab so we in can... the blanket. Kebab in the blanket, <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is actually a, a Persian food festival on our table. Oh man. When you come to California, you do not need to go to Disneyland. Just come to Rafi's place. <laughs> the greatest amusement of culinary display you could possibly have. Cherry rice. Sour cherry. Sour cherry, Sour cherry rice. Polo is rice, right? Yeah. yeah. Polo means rice, okay. Oh, so many herbs in here too. Lima beans. Lima beans. Yeah. And that's all yeah. dill in there, yeah. right? Okay. Thank you. The cherry rice. That's beautiful. Saffron topped rice, okay. I'm gonna try the kubide, which is the ground, the ground meat kebab. Oh, you can feel that texture of it, how bouncy it is already. Wow. I'm gonna try some of the kubide with just some of that lima bean rice. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's so good. The kubide is so bouncy yeah. and juicy. Oh, and the onions, you taste the onions in the kubide, yeah. yeah? The onions, the onion juice, the flavor of that dill and the rice. That is amazing. So there's, there's chicken, boneless chicken, chicken breast, and then there's also chicken like, like wings. And the chicken is especially to go with that cherry, that cherry rice. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. The tartness of those cherries. Oh, that one is really good. Yeah. 
This is the local touch, the jalapenos. California edition. Let's pick up a, um, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Ravi. <laughs> oh, wow. It's so tender. <laughs> it's so juicy. Oh, it's so tender. Mmm, pure meatiness of it with that smoky char from the grill. Mmm. Mm. Wow. That is pure lamb, just sensational flavor. That should be eaten with the rice too, right? Yeah, oh, thank you. Do you want to try that yogurt with shallots? Yeah, that's yes. Really oh, thank you. This one is the, the filet kebab. I'm just gonna break down my tomato on my plate. I'm gonna mix it with some of the yogurt. I'm gonna try some of the filet, filet kebab. Filet kebab, onion, yogurt. Mm. I'm gonna move into the jalapeno, and that's what I think is such an awesome um, adaptation to where we are. Um, Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, so juicy, so smoky, roasted. Oh yeah, good heat too. Jalapenos can be sometimes really spicy and sometimes yeah. not that spicy. Oh, these ones are good. These are good, very good. Here we go. So this one is eggplant also. Really good. The garlic, the tomatoes in there. Oh, and then the eggplant kind of holding it together. And then make sure you chase with mint as well. I think that's uh, lemon basil, sorry, lemon basil. which just like cleanses the mouth, cleans the palate. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try some of the Salad Shirazi. Add a little bit of sumac. so bouncy and juicy. The texture and the onion juice just squeezes out with every bite. Rose water, oh, rose water, oh, thank you. Oh, the sticky kind of ice cream. Look at that, it doesn't melt. Oh, it's so fragrant with rose water. That's real Persian ice cream. Oh, it's really good ice cream. Final bite. You can have another one. Mmm. Oh, that one burst with honey sweetness. Wow. That is sweet, but really good. You need to have some tea with that. Oh, it just bursts with rose water. So fragrant. Wow. This was an incredible meal. Thank you so much for this amazing food. And as we sat there, Mr. Rafi shared with us his story of they came to the United States, uh, they'd opened Rafi's place about 28 years ago, but Mr. and Mrs. Rafi, they had owned and operated restaurants back home in Tehran uh, before coming to the United States. And when they came to the United States, uh, Mr. Rafi did a variety of jobs, he did some plumbing, but eventually they opened a small little restaurant called Rafi's Place, which started out with four tables and it's grown because of their hospitality, because of their friendliness, because of their incredibly delicious food. It's grown into what it is today. Rafi's Place is one of the great meal experiences of Los Angeles, a banquet of Persian food. 